Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, inshallah, we'll continue our journey connecting all the ayat of Al-Baqarah, inshallah. So, we stopped here and then we'll continue, inshallah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yasir li amri wa ahlul uqdadam min lisani. Yafqahu qawli rabbana zidna ilma. Okay. Um, in case you're wondering why do I usually say um, Rabbana, uh, because I'm including you. <laughs> um, I know it's Rabbi Zidn Ilma, but Rabbana Zidna Ilma, right? Okay, so this one, we stopped here. So Allah was saying, okay, they're done, and you're not going to be asked about them. And the other way of saying that, I'm actually going to ask, what about you? So they're Muslims, your ancestors are Muslims, but how about you, right? Talking to the um, the, Christ, uh, the Jews, right? Well, here, Allah is going to say, actually, also the Christians. Uh, again, we're not talking about the Christians now, the Jews now, those at that time. Uh, we don't want to, you know, just point fingers, and not every Christian or Jew that you see now is thinking this way, or something like that okay so وَقَالُوا كُونُوا هُودًا أَوْ نَصَارًا تَهْتَدُوا so be a Christian or a Jew and you'll be guided but Allah is saying بَلْ مِلَّةَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ حَنِيفًا وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ um, you know Hanifa is usually translated as so where is it it's like unswerving or something like that here, inclining toward truth. I just want to share this one because this one really captures it. One who scorns the false creeds surrounding him and professes the true religion. If you know that meaning, that's really Ibrahim, right? What did he do? Like everyone around him didn't want to believe. They even threw him into the fire, right? But he was... Hanifa. Now it's like I can understand it more. It's like more appreciated more. Hanifa. So if we want to follow Prophet Ibrahim, subhanAllah, that means we also have to do the same thing. We can't just try to blend in and water down our religion. Uh, whatever you have to do, you have to do. SubhanAllah. Okay, so how do we connect that? So this is what they said. And Allah said, you say this, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then you all say this. It's like our turn. Well, their turn. And now our turn. Qulu amanna. So here it is. Amanna billahi wa ma unzila. Wa ma unzila. Unzila. Ilayna. Ilay. 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 Ila. Because uh, I'm just pointing that out because there's another ayah where it's going to be ala. This one is ila. Right. Unzila ilayna wa ma unzila ila Ibrahima wa Ismaila wa Ishaqa wa Yaquba wa Asba ti. Mm, sorry. Because there's another ayah that's uh, the same and it's Asba ta. This one is Ba ti. Wa ma utiya Musa wa Isa. Right? This one I just wanted to point out. That's why I under underlined it. Because everyone is wah, 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 wah. And then it's like there's a break here. Right? And then, Wama utia Musa wa Isa. It's like Allah is grouping them together. Don't ignore Prophet Isa, because that's what the Bani Israel did. They didn't believe him, they even said bad things about him. And so Allah is saying, Musa and Isa, they're the same. Actually, if you notice, other uh, ayat that we've been, we've done, Prophet uh, Musa and Isa, they're side by side, the ayat they're talking about. They're close together, subhanAllah. <clears throat> and, وَمَا أُوْتِيَ النَّبِيُّونَ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ مُلَا نُفَرْقُ بَنْهِينَ Okay, and then, نَحْنُ لَهُ مُسْلِمُونَ Later, I will tell you how to remember this. مُسْلِمُونَ عَبِدُونَ مُخْلِسُونَ I'll inshallah um, tell you later. فَإِنْ آمَنُوا بِمِسْلِمَا Okay, so if they say that we actually believe too, 
because uh, there are people who will say that we actually believe too, but we just do what we're whatever we, where we're doing, what our religion tells us to do. So Allah says here, "Fa'in amanu bimislima amantum bihi faqadishtadau." You can just say "amanu." It has to be bimislima amantum bihi faqadishtadau. So it has to be the same way. You can't just say. Yes, I believe, but mm, no, you have to be the same way, right? وَإِن تَوَلَّوْا فَإِنَّمَا هُمْ فِي شِقَاقٍ فَسَيَكْفِيكَهُمُ اللَّهِ My teacher usually says, uh, tell, uh, used to tell me, super long word is actually a sentence. فَسَيَكْفِيكَهُمُ اللَّهِ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ Right? This one, the next one. Okay, so if they say that they believe, then it has to show, Right? This one, I, I remember when I just um, converted to Islam and I was reading a uh, translation. It's not the one that he gives Dawah, the black one, not, one not, not that one. It was something else. And the translation that they used for Sibra is um, baptism. And I was like, what does that mean? Baptism of Allah. That's <laughs> why, uh, subhanAllah, there's a lot, lots lost in translation. So here, Sibra. Sibra is a dye, a color, and there's also here, baptism. So how is it connected? Because the Jews and Christians, they have a ritual wherein they baptize um, someone who enters the religion, right? So Sibirat um, al So when I converted to Islam, I to, I'm sorry, when I became, um, not became, when I was born, I was baptized because I was born into a Christian family, right? So I had baptism. But Allah is saying, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ مِنَ اللَّهِ سِبِرَ So that uh, ordaining, whatever ritual they're doing, doesn't mean anything, right? وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ مِنَ اللَّهِ سِبِرَ وَنَحْنُ لَهُ عَابِدُونَ And another thing is, uh, just like what I said, so it's a color, a dye. If I throw some dye at you, color, paint, whatever, it's going to show. Right, so someone who actually says that they believe in their Muslims, it has to show. Right, Subhanallah, it's by the way you act, the way you talk, the way you dress, everything. Subhanallah, and this one, Abidun, because you can't choose. You're an Abd. You can't say, okay, I believe, but I will do this instead of this. No, it's Abidun. Subhanallah, so that's how I remember this Arabidun. And then uh, here, <clears throat> Allah says, Tell them, do you argue with us about Allah when He's your Rabb? Because this is true. Why are you arguing with me? It's with your Rabb, my Rabb is your Rabb, it's the same thing. And I'm going to be asked about what I did, right? Right? And we are sincere to Him. <clears throat> now, um, تَقُولُونَ And they will say again, تَقُولُونَ إِنَّ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَعِيلَ وَإِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ وَالْأَسْبَاقَ hmm. That's why I pointed out earlier. Now, وَالْأَسْبَاقَ Where's my marker? Now it's أَسْبَاقَ كَانُوا هُدًا أَوْ نَصَارَ If you know the grammar behind it, great. Um, but if not, it's because of this illa. Um, this that's why it's kasra. This one is because of inna. Um, but if you don't remember that, just remember they're different. It's not the same. This is asbati, asbata, asbata. Kanu huda na nasara. Kul and so they're saying because there are people who think this way. They're Christians or Jews. Abraham, I some they call it Abraham. They're from their religion, Christians. <laughs> but Allah is saying, who knows better? <laughs> uh, Prophet Abraham was not alive when uh, Judaism and also Christianity happened, right? When they were born, those religions. So how can you say that he's from your religion? And then, woman azlamu mimman katabah. Uh, katama, shahadatam, because this is one from the the 
Remember before they were hiding something from the books, the details and stuff. So, وَمِمَّنْ كَتَمَ شَهَادَةً عِنْدَهُ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَمَا اللَّهُ بِغَافِلِينَ عَمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ This one I just want to point out that ta because there will be an ayah soon that will be ya ya amalun. This one is ta. Ta comes before ya. <laughs> so this one is ta ta amalun. And then the last ayah, which is the same as last page. Tilka ummatum qad khalat laha ma kasabatum. Akasabat walakum ma kasabatum. Right. So you will not be asked for what they did. But you be asked what you did, right? So, inshallah, you found this helpful. I'll just go through some patterns, inshallah. I'll go through um, some patterns. So, I said earlier, the first one is they said, قالوا, قول, you say, قولوا, you all say, right? So, that's how I remember it. قالوا, قول, قولوا, right? And then, this one, uh, Ibrahim or Ismail, there is something here. Ibrahim or Ismail or Ishaq, right? So it's the same, but just with addition. And there's actually an ayah coming up that sounds the same. Um, so inshallah, just be aware of that. Um, I will point it out when it happens. And then, um, so this one, Muslimun. My teacher told me the way um, she remembers is all the ayat in this page, huh? this page that has people, uh, prophets listed is Muslimun. See? Ibrahimu, Ya'qub, see? Muslimun. And in this one, uh, the same thing, Ibrahim, Ismail, Ishaq, Muslimun, right? And in this one, all of them, Ismail, Ishaq, Ya'qub, Asbaq, Muslimun, right? And then, so now here in Arabidun, Mukhlisun. Abidun, I, I said earlier, the sibila of Allah, the, the color of the dye of Allah, it actually should show. You can't just say, I want to do this, do that. No, you're an Abd, you do what you're supposed to do. So Abidun. And then the other one that's left is Mukhlisun. Right? And then um, another one that I wanted to say, oh, this one, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. I encircled it uh, because if you know grammar, um, this is not supposed to be fatha. Um, but uh, when I, I, one of the lectures I watched, the teacher said, um, the grammar expert, um, this is the reason why this is done. It's to highlight that word. Um, so it's like, because there's no exclamation point in, um, in Arabic, right? At least here in the Quran. So it's like, قُلْ بَلْ مِلَّةَ إِبْرَهِيمَ حَنِيفًا It's like, you're like really... Emphasizing it, and also this one, sibghat Allah, like that, right? And then what else? Uh, so this one, and you probably noticed this already, right? They're the same, exactly the same. If you're wondering, is it the same? Yes, tilka ummatun qadakhalat, tilka ummatun qadakhalat, right? And then uh, another thing. Remember, I said uh, from the last video, sufaha or sufaha, sufaha. Uh, this one, Safiha Nafsa, right? And then I said, I showed you the the, the earlier uh, ayat of Al-Baqarah. And then look at what's coming next. Oh, sorry. The next one. Ta-da! Sayaqulu Sufaha. This is what we'll do next. I just wanted to show that. Sayaqulu Sufaha. Now Allah is saying, they are. They're really, Allah is now really calling them, they're the Sufaha, right? So, inshallah, this is what we'll do next, next video. Okay, inshallah, you found this helpful. Um, inshallah, see you next video. Jazakumullah khairan for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.